Uber Eats plans to deliver your burgers by drone. People are bullying self-driving cars and New York City extends its driver cap. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? It's Cecily and I'm broadcasting live from Vegas. Actually, uh, I'm in my hotel room, but the hotel is in Vegas. But that doesn't mean that we're gonna stop with the news. It's this week in Rideshare News. This past Wednesday, Uber announced that it will be starting a drone beta testing program for Uber Eats. Basically, that means that drones will be delivering your food to you. One of several companies that's testing this technology, I know that Google is doing it and Amazon as well, Uber wants to get in the game and to see if they can hit a home run with machine delivered food. And they're working closely with the FAA to make sure that they are meeting requirements, and prioritizing safety. My first question that comes to mind is, hey guys, what about the bird? How does this affect the environment? How does this affect wildlife? I go to the beach and those pigeons are ready. Most pigeons are ready to pounce at a moment's notice. You mean to tell me that if you're carrying a bag of fries and a burger that a bunch of pigeons aren't gonna go in? Maybe a bigger bird than that? I'm just trying to understand how that's going to work. I want to understand how the increased drone activity is going to affect pollution, wildlife. If you're deploying hundreds of drones to deliver food, then that could potentially be an issue. I just really think, personally, it's an absurd idea. I don't understand. But I do get that both of these companies, Uber and Lyft, want to rely less on people and more on machines and so the drone testing is definitely a step in that direction. So this program is launching in San Diego and will soon be in other places, possibly near you. New York City extends the freeze on new hires for Uber and Lyft in an effort to get higher pay for its existing drivers. In addition, the city is limiting how long a driver can be on the road without a passenger. City officials say that the number of drivers has grown beyond an amount that is sustainable. And they also mentioned that several drivers committed suicide due to not being able to make ends meet when fares were lowered by both companies. Both Lyft and Uber have expressed their displeasure and Uber plans to sue the city for their actions. If you like more information about this article, it's in the description. Uber's self-driving cars are taking a beating. <laughs> and in some cases, physically from pedestrians and other drivers on the road. Uber reports that they've seen an increased amount of road rage and rude behavior towards their self-driving cars. I don't get it. But basically they say that they have videos in, in the cars and they've caught people being aggressive towards the driverless car. The article says that people tend to not stop for the car when the car is approaching tailgating them, not giving them the right of way when they're supposed to have it, challenging the cars to brake. Apparently this is not the first time that people have been really intolerant to the whole driverless car thing. Last year it was reported that people were slashing the tires of autonomous vehicles due to what happened to a woman that lost her life in Arizona. I'm not sure what can be done about this behavior towards driverless cars, at the same time, I feel like it's just human beings just being human beings. Road rage and all these kind of things happen every day, but I do think there's a group of people that are really intolerant to the whole idea that cars will drive themselves and people will be out of work. Could it be that? Could it be that people may be upset that these jobs may go away? Is that that's something to think about. Lyft aims to help folks living in a food desert to obtain fresh food. Lyft has provided a discounted ride once a week for families that live in a food desert. As far as discounts go, for a typical ride that would be about $8.33, a discount would be $1 off that fare. It may not seem to be much, but going both ways, you're saving $2 and in a month's time, you're saving $8, which could go a long way for some of these families. While many people see this as being a good thing, many residents are older and haven't embraced technology, and so they're not really sure if they'll take advantage of the program. And now for my favorite story of the week, it is what would you do? I was looking at the Facebook forum and I saw a woman that stated that she caught a couple doing you know what in her back seat. Damn it. That's just nasty. She said that the woman had a skirt on and then she heard a unzip and things began to happen. She said very plainly, 
and a firmly. If you don't stop that, you can walk. And the couple stopped. She was mortified, horrified. She was disgusted. If this happened in your car, what would you do? Try your best to keep it clean in the comments, please. And i um, curious to hear what you have to say because this has never happened to me and I think I would lose my everlasting mind. <laughs> Triggered? Let me know what your thoughts are. But that is it for this week in Write Your News. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the red button below for Harry's channel, The Write Your Guy. A plethora of news tips and resources for rideshare and other related industries. If you're curious about who I am and what I do, my name is Cecily and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive. Hey! And you can find me on Facebook and YouTube. And as always, please be safe out there and I'll see you next week. Bye!